Hello. I can hardly believe I'm back again already. I only uh, filmed uh, two mornings ago. Uh, but So I haven't made anything. Uh, but um, I have received my So Hayley Jane box. So today I'm going to do my So Hayley Jane unboxing. Um, I'm kind of happy that I'm bringing a video so soon because there was a couple of things that I had in my book that I didn't uh, tell you about. And it's because it was at the top of the page and I, don't, and I put a line underneath it and I'd started from the line and then I forgot to go back to the beginning. So um, there was, and I've, I've wrote a little note now, forgotten things. And the one, um, thing I forgot to mention is um, a few places are starting to sell their Christmas crafts and you can sometimes get like a free badge so I um, ordered something Christmas related from um, Sewing Street and I've received a Christmas badge from them with my order and, and I've been collecting those badges. I, I do like little pins and things. And another one is um, Mandy Shaw. If you buy from her Christmas shop, you will get a, a metal badge with I Love Christmas on it. So um, I've taken a photograph of those um, up on my pin board. But uh, I think I will probably wear the I Love Christmas one at Christmas. But I'll pop a picture here. So do look out for that, actually. Um, things that you know you can get free and, and and it is worth thinking about getting Christmas supplies I'm sorry to say this early because you can struggle later on so those were the forgotten things um, I haven't actually made anything since I last saw you but as a sewer and a crafter you'll know it isn't all about sitting down and doing the craft it is about preparation as well so yesterday it was I'd say it was probably the hottest day I've ever experienced in my house actually and uh, and it was just it was awful so uh, I decided it would be better to get in the car with my fixed air uh, conditioning and have a little trip to Curry's and get some paper because I was out of paper for my printer. So um, off I went. Um, I'm not saying, I don't think it really did help because I did feel like by the evening I felt like I had heat stroke um, and I'm sure a lot of you were uh, you know, we're feeling the same. So, oh gosh, I know obviously some people's houses um, are better than others because of, you know, what uh, direction your house is facing and etc. and how insulated your house is. So I know a lot of people have a very different experience from others, but I'm having a bad one, but there you go. Anyway, so um, I've done a bit of printing so I have found while I was in Brighton and I couldn't sleep because of the heat, I was online and uh, and I had a look. Oh, let's hope I don't lose the bits here. So I um, have downloaded um, a free pattern um, from Cloth Habit and uh, and it's for the rosy lady shorts. Um, I'll see if that will focus. It's not focusing, is it? Ah, can you just about see that? It's not. Do you know what? I'll, if um, I'll have a look back at the video after, and if you can't see it, I'll pop a photograph of it. So basically, it's just some ladies' little briefs, underwear, basically, and it's a free pattern. So um, I've actually printed that out. It's only two parts. There, there are um, there are there. Are, divided up actually into four uh, size the sizing is I'm guessing is American uh, 0 to 6 and then then there's the larger size so I've, I've printed that out actually I think um, what I might do is I might try and get my mum's measurements and I might make some for my mum as well uh, if I can get a measurement so it's literally just two pieces and um, and you'll be cutting two of those and cutting one crotch lining. I haven't look at, looked at the instructions, so that's all I know at the moment. But that's one of the things I've printed out, and that is free. I have also um, purchased two patterns from them. Um, I'll just pop that aside. I don't know when I'll be doing these, but it was just because I was on there, and I just thought, oh, while I'm here, I'm going to do this. 
I can ask, ask are both of them in here. Um, oh yeah, here it is. Um, one of them is called the Watson lingerie set. And it's basically some little pants, uh, a bit like the Megan Nielsen Acacia pants that I've made two of. And I've actually got a third of uh, those cut out, uh, ready to sew together. Um, they're very similar to that style, like a bikini pant. And, um, and basically a boneless bra. Uh, one has a little bit more fabric here and one just looks a bit more like your standard bra. And um, and that was one, that's a lingerie set. So I've downloaded that one. I've printed the instructions and I've, um, and I've printed the pattern, but I've not stuck that together. Uh, I don't know how soon I'm going to be doing that. I'm guessing there'll be a lot of supplies to gather up with that. There'll be with like the little, um, you know, there might be certain bra straps and sliders and clips and things. So it's just one for the future. Um, you know, don't don't think, oh, this is coming really soon. It's just one I've got ready for when I want it. And also, um, I've downloaded, um, and this I had to pay for as well, it's the Harriet bra, also from Cloth Habit. And this basically just looks like your standard boned bra basically so I'm going to have a go at um, making that the sizes go from uh, 28 to 42 uh, A to E the bra sizes um, the bikini pant sizes I'm just saying actually the uh, the bra in the Watson the bonus one the, I think the sizes do go do they go bigger? They don't go quite as big with big, but they go a little smaller. No, the size range is basically it goes from a 30 to a 40 with the Watson. Uh, B cups, I think, to D cups. I might be getting that wrong. And the bikini pants go from extra small to extra large. And I don't know, without looking, I don't know what those measurements are. So those are um, some more underwear. I think I've gone a little bit crazy for underwear, haven't I, uh, lately, since we're making those pants. And actually, the um, the other pants I've made, uh, who are they? Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the top of my head. And they're the ones I said I didn't like as much as the Megan Nielsen. But I've actually worn them quite a lot, actually. Oh, gosh, someone's at the door. Hang on, bear with me. It's probably the postman. Back in the back. <laughs> I'm back. I don't know if you've heard me say I'm back the first time, so I've said it again. Oh, yeah, it was for me, I'm ashamed to say. It was a delivery uh, from More Plan, and I discovered that company through Penguin and Pear. Claire, her name's Claire Amanda, and she's also a blogger, and, and I think her her thing is penguin and pear right so i found i watched one of her videos for the, her i've only watched one video and we have been chatting with each other and we have discussed doing a collaboration in the future which would be nice uh, she's a uh, british also and um and she mentioned more plan and i ordered a roller tracing paper which that hasn't arrived yet um, i haven't totally run out of tracing paper but um but she recommended it because it, she said it's it's good it's on a roll and things and I do struggle to store my tracing paper so what I'll probably find is I'll use up my folded tracing paper first and when that runs out I'll start using the one that comes from more plan but it, this has come in a separate delivery and uh, and this was the other thing I ordered and it's a pattern master I have got a, um, a kind of curve if I show you this one this is the one that came um, with the Lutero system, I don't know if you've heard of that, um, but this is a, I've gone for the centimetre one, even though I'm a bit of an inches girl, I have got a number of quilting rulers that are inches, and sometimes when things are in centimetres, I struggle a bit measuring things because I don't have as many things, but this actually um, works in centimetres, so there's um, it's centimetres all along here, centimetres along here, and it's got a thicker thicker band than this one look and uh, yes and it's got like um, a seam allowance guide and things so I'll, I haven't obviously had a good look at this yet um, 
but um, as um, but if there's anything I need to say about this in the future, I will let you know. So what was I on about? Okay, so I've still got the So Hayley Jane box to show you, uh, but I just wanted to say what else I was doing. Uh, what else have I printed? Uh, have I printed anything else? Yes. Right, while I was in Brighton, there was one particular evening and um, I couldn't sleep. And uh, I don't think I slept very well the whole trip actually, because it was quite, it was quite hot and it was quite noisy at night, and because uh, we were right by nightclubs and things, and uh, and it was at like four a.m. in the morning, about four, four something anyway, and I went onto Instagram and there was a live, uh, a live feed going on between two sewers, and there was in uh, Australia, and obviously I've never seen them do a live thing before. Well, I didn't know one of them. I, I followed the one that's why it came up and they were chatting about a pattern that they had made and they'd both kind of done a different thing with it it's basically it's a bodysuit and one of them had made the full bodysuit and one had just made it like a top and uh, and the, and I thought you know what I really really do like that and yeah uh, and the bodysuit was the, called the Blenin bodysuit by Mason Right, you can't see that. So see if I can get this out. And I decided to purchase it. You probably can't see it, can you? And you know what? Even if I took a photograph of that and put it on, you're probably not going to see it very well. I'll attempt that. If the photo comes out, okay, I'll put a photograph on for you. But um, so basically, they'd made it, and I purchased the pattern. Um, I received the email from the designer with the with the download because it's PDF. And uh, I didn't open the email. I just thought, well, I'll open it when I get home because I can't do anything with it. But my actual link had expired. It did say, say it will expire 24 hours from opening it. But I hadn't opened it, so it had expired anyway. But um, I emailed the designer and they got back to me and I managed to, um, you know, to do it. So that is another pattern I've got. So... Um, as I was saying in my last video, I'm quite keen on doing lots of tops because that's what I really am going to need in the changing season. And I do really like bodysuits and I do really like fitted things. So that's another thing that I'm going to be making. Um, yesterday, uh, I did a little bit of my seam work course that I mentioned that I'm doing, the Design Your Own Wardrobe. And... Um, and what happened is, when I went off to Curry's to get some paper, uh, it's actually uh, two or three doors away from um, a big hobby craft. Well, I know they're all big, aren't they, hobby crafts? Well, I think they are anyway. And uh, and it was the first day I'd seen it, and it hadn't got a queue outside. And I didn't even think I wanted anything, but I just went in purely because there wasn't a queue. And the first place I went to was actually the magazine stand. And I did feel a bit guilty because in my last video I told you that uh, I'm not going to be buying any magazine. I'm highly not, not going to be buying magazines anymore because I'm going to get digital ones. I didn't buy a magazine, but I did get caught looking at them uh, by my friend. But luckily she hadn't seen my video, but I did tell her I've been bad. I said I wasn't going to. But I, didn't, I didn't buy a magazine anyway, but I did have a little look. Because the magazine I wanted to look at is one that I'm interested in buying digitally. But I just wanted to see if there was a difference with what you get. Do you get more buying the paper one? Do you get access to everything? Because the magazine I'm actually interested in buying this time, digital, was actually £7 something. And I thought that was quite a lot for a digital magazine. So that's why I haven't gone ahead and downloaded it. So I went into Hobbycraft, um, not thinking I was really going to buy anything. But you know what it's like. You might end up buying something. And I did end up buying something. And I actually bought the tab files. I showed you this folder the other day. And I bought some tab folders for my Sew Your Own Wardrobe. And I did do a little bit of this. Uh, I've done an online mood board for this course. So basically, I've just um, op opened a Pinterest board and I just I started adding things in there, patterns and colours. They're not necessarily uh, pat like clothes that you uh, they're patterns for, but just people in outfits. So you kind of get a feel of what you want. And... Um, so I've started filling some of this in now. I've been watching the videos. So it's kind of, you think about what your goal is, what you want out of it. 
uh, then you, then it's a thing about a story so what did it say about that now um that you have to pick a, basically a concept for your collection uh, and what you want it for um and then what else have we done so far then you've got to think about what do you want the clothes for is it you know is it the gym is it daytime home you know that think about any important events that are coming up that you might need an outfit for um i i kind of thought about i wanted really day wear possibly sports wear maybe even evening wear um but i'm not i'm not saying um I need anything extravagant I don't think I've got anything extravagant going on the evening so uh, that's less important um, but more I want plenty of day clothes and things to wear for my sports basically uh, then it's on about uh, doing the mood board uh, there it, but I've done an online mood board so uh, and there is a sheet for doing your mood um, but I decided I'd do mine online um, and then have we done this reflect yet? And the next one is going to be reflect. That's week two. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. So that is that. However, even though I'm not doing a physical mood board, because you've got a choice, you can do a physical mood board or you can do uh, an online one. Um, I am going to do a mood board, but it's not for me. Um, I picked up this in the uh, hobby craft. It's just that I don't know what I paid exactly. It's just a cheap pin board, and uh, I don't know if you've watched a previous video, but um, I homeschool my middle son, and uh, a project that we're doing is we he's choosing a character and an outfit that he wants us to recreate and we're going to do it basically together so we've been doing the research together we're going to go shopping together um and we're going to basically cut out and sew and measure together and things and this is the character um please don't ask me his name um i, I don't know what it is it's something he watches uh, so I've, I've basically I've mounted it on a bit because he's got a purple waistcoat on I've done a little purple mount and that's going to be going on here somewhere and um, and I've got a list of things that we've we've done so far like we've printed the photo we've looked online for patterns we're going to be measured we've met we have measured his body but obviously i'll have to re-measure him because this was a while ago and i've listed some of the patterns we have purchased and and where they were coming from and some of the things i have shown you these before um we've got we bought a hat pattern a simplicity one that an 8713 and I bought a Simplicity 2895 and that's for the long jacket. Uh, we're going to draft a, a waistcoat. Well, there is a waistcoat in this one, so we could do that. But we're um, we're going to draft a waistcoat from the Lutero system. Um, so that is what we've done so far. So that's going to be like our autumn project. But uh, So we, it's the summer holidays at the moment. and. Uh, my youngest son's at home, my eldest son's at home. So this will be sort of get going underway basically in the autumn when everybody's back at school and college and it's just me and him and we can concentrate on doing this project together and put, in, we'll put this mood board together and it will help me keep everything in one place because I keep losing everything. So that is what is going on. I'll just have a little sip of my coffee if you don't mind. So that is what is going on with me at the moment. So I've done no sewing, no knitting, but I have been doing a, um, a number of preparation pieces for the future because that, that's what it's like, isn't it, with, um, with crafting? You have to prepare, don't you? So now to the exciting bit, the box, the So Hayley Jane box. So I'm sorry to keep you waiting actually, I've just seen, I'm saying this is 11 minutes in but actually it's in two parts isn't it because I have to stop it because of the postman. Right, this theme this month, now 
what shall I tell you? I'll try and give you more information. Basically, this is a, sub a sewing subscription box aimed at dressmakers. There are three tiers of, of boxes. You've got um, the classic box, which is the middle box, which is what I have. You have the luxury box and you have the mini box. Now, the, uh, the mini box and the classic box are very similar, but you get one less fat quarter in the mini, you get one less item and you I think you, I think you only get a meter of fabric. Now in my one I get two and a half meters of fabric. Now the difference between my box and the luxury box, you get all the same bits and bobs, but you get an extra fat quarter with the luxury box. But the luxury box you get a luxury fab a more luxury fabric and more of it. I think it might be three meters but don't quote me on that so I have the middle tier box and it always has a theme and the theme this month and they're, all, they're always lovely but the theme this month is called the secret garden August 2020 and the the print on the front is all sort of like nature and bees and um, and basically the um, Hayley was inspired by this one by um, films that she likes, like The Secret Garden, The Little Princess and Little Women. She likes kiddie classics. This is so Hayley Jane I'm talking about. And basically in the, um, the classic box, uh, it says that this month you get a viscose twill in either a deep foresty green or a bold bright coral that features large white and black flower print and uh, and it says this fabric has a great weight and it will make some fab dresses tops clots skirts the list is endless um right so maybe i'll show you the fabric first as that's what i've mentioned yeah go on why not so here it is Here's the fabric. Now I've not looked at this next to me, and uh, and I do like green. I find I'm very drawn to army green, but I didn't know how I would I would feel about this. But looking at it, yeah, I could see myself in that. But I'm not sure yet what I'm going to. Make. I'm I know I was I'm thinking that would make a dress looking at it and I know I was saying oh I'm kind of thinking I'm done with summer makes I'm thinking about the changing season um but this could change when the so Hayley Jane box turns up maybe this is that time maybe that maybe this is like going to be another summer dress or maybe it will be something next year I don't know yet I've not decided I, you know what it's like so, so there's so many pattern so many fabric and so little time isn't there so um so yeah so I'm, re I'm it's really soft it's really nice and if you're not familiar with twill twill has like a diagonal line in it and it's how it's made basically and that is really really beautiful and i know i don't have the luxury box but that feels pretty luxurious to me so that is that so let me see what's in what she says next she says that she's introducing us to cobble and hive they're based in yorkshire and they're and they basically make um like put beeswax in molds and these and this one is just basically a sunflower and it's to keep our threads from getting untang getting tangled up when we're doing hand stitching and it comes in this lovely little bag with their logo on it and, uh, and and the beeswax it's in a sun it's a sunflower shape and they've put that in a mold uh, that's very nice oh gosh you can smell that yes yeah, so that's lovely um she also says that did you mention now Hayley I don't think Hayley has mentioned the other goodies in the box so I'll tell you about those um or has she maybe it's higher up right i don't i don't actually know um but i'll tell you what came in the luxury box they got a beautiful border print cotton sateen 
uh, which has a gorgeous drape and a, a subtle sheen and it will go perfectly with this month's pattern because ah yes they get a pattern in their one in the luxury box um, and the pattern they have got is the sew over it marguerite dress for high tea in the garden so that's very nice isn't it so right there's an interview with um cobble and hive who made the beeswax um let me have a look I'll, I'll, I'll see if she mentions the other things in here no i don't think she has so i'll mention these so I, uh, the cough, I know that the fat quarters come from the Craft Cotton Company and uh, and this month they've got a um, mixture of the purples, pinks and blues and they're very floral, I'd say. If you, can you see those? I don't know if they jump out as very floral on camera. Excuse my chipped nail varnish. I don't paint my nails very often because I've painted them for Brighton and I haven't done them since. They're all a bit chipped. Um, so yeah, they're, so they're lovely. So they'll be heading off to my collection, which I'll tell you about that in a minute. And you got, ah, uh, you've got Parma Violets, which I was about to say I've already eaten. I actually did share these with my eldest son because he likes them turns out there's another packet so i think i'll be sure i could have we could have had a packet each couldn't we because i think he's the only one that well i'm not saying he's the only one that likes them but i know he's crazy for them and i quite like them so you always get a matching thread that matches your fabric um to go with the main fabric uh this month he gets a, a lovely bit of blue pale blue well in my box i've got some pale blue floral um bias binding i presume it's bias yeah i can see that the way it's been cut it's bias binding i can't tell you any more than that where it's come from or anything um because i unless there's something in the book i don't know um i do think that feels like it's got some polyester in it which is quite normal for a shop bought um binding um and in this little spotty bag, which is quite nice, the green it goes, uh, you get some large, um, well, in my day, you'd call them Prestoids, but um, they're called snap, snap fasteners. But you know what I mean, don't you, a Prestoid? But they're rather large from uh, Habiku. So they're nice, aren't they? And they're always handy to have. And they'll be getting stored up here somewhere. I might actually those in there now actually so yes yeah, so that's everything i got this month now i have got a bit of news i've actually just um just for a little while unsubscribed to my so Haley jane box now my reason for doing this is now um there is nothing wrong with the box i've, I've had an absolute wonderful time but i just feel that i need time to catch up I'm using up my, I've got a number of these now, the Fat Quarters, as you can see. Now, then these aren't all from Hayley. The, some of these are ones that I have purchased myself over time, or I've had as gifts and things. And uh, I've got quite a collection going on. Now, the quilter in you would be going, oh, get okay, yes, loads of Fat Quarters and things. But I've got a Janet quilt quilt I've started. I've only done one block of this and I've got a number of fabrics to do that quilt. I've also done all the red work blocks for a Christmas quilt and I've got that quilt. Now I only normally get one quilt completed a year because I do other makes. So uh, I'm not, I've not really been using these much. You'll notice they've not really been going down. So. I just think this is going to get out of control. So I need time to get through these. And and if you've seen a previous video, I've showed you all the fabrics I've received, the dressmaking fabrics from Hayley. And there are a number of them that I haven't used yet. So I think I just need a little bit of time to plow through uh, my fabrics. 
weeks um you know i've got to i've got to be sensible haven't i i i am going to be really sad about not getting the parcel uh, every month and, I, and i've really loved doing i've loved doing this showing it you i've loved getting the magazine so yeah i am gonna miss it i really am but i've got to do what is right haven't i you know um because you know otherwise it, it, I'd be wasting money, wouldn't I? Really? So, um, yeah, I I just need time to catch up and feel like I've really played through things, and maybe then I can start back up again. So, I really hope you understand. I hope Haley understands. Uh, I I know that people that have been watching my blog have been signing up to the boxes, and a number of new people that have signed up from watching my videos. I know we're starting in August, so enjoy your time, enjoy your boxes. So I know that Hayley loses one, but she's going to gain quite a few. So, because uh, you always feel a bit bad, don't you? But I know Hayley must get lots of custom, and um, and I, do you know what? I've got nothing negative to say. Honestly, nothing negative. It's all wonderful, but I've got to do what's right for me. So, going back to the magazine, um, the make of the month, uh, there's always a make of the month, and uh, I think the lady is called Moa, and she's made her make in chambray, and she used the April luxury fabric to make a jumpsuit. And, uh, and that does, it's like a beige kind of colour, it looks very nice. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, and I, I think I can show you, because I wasn't sure how much of this magazine I could show you. But I have seen other YouTubers um, showing theirs, so I think it's okay. So, um, let's have a look. So, um, now I think this is great actually. Well done to Hayley for this. She's got a double uh, page here and it's titled fabulous fat quarters and um and i think this is a really good idea because it's ideas so she's shown that somebody's been making masks with theirs um somebody's made a purse with some of theirs um this i thought is a fabulous idea because obviously it's dressmakers that are going to be subscribing to this box isn't it and actually somebody has um, used fat quarters, so they're a bit of a mishmash of colours, but they've actually made the new Jamie Tilly and the Button pyjamas in a shorts version. And I think they've, had, they've not been able to basically make a whole pair of shorts out of a fat quarter. I think they've had to use about four different colours going round to make these shorts but well done this is Claire her name oh Clary Claire oh Claire I think Clary is a part of her um Instagram Claire but not like my Claire Claire without an I um she yeah she's made those and actually Claire if you I don't know if you watch my videos you probably don't because I don't have I don't think I have that many but um I think I haven't got this pattern. Um, maybe I will purchase this pattern. Maybe I will make loads and loads and loads of pajama shorts with my fat quarters, and then I can sign back up again because I feel like I've ploughed through them. So you never know. That's what I might end up doing. So I might have the biggest draw of pajama shorts going maybe just so i can sign back up again so we'll have to say i've made that shelf's empty now look at it I've, i can sign back up again <laughs> so maybe that's what i'll do so thank you so that's what's really good about these books isn't it giving you ideas now somebody has made um what have they made a padded laptop sleeve with the fat quarters and somebody else has made um loads of what, what does she name them? Oh no, Claire, it isn't Claire that made the shorts, sorry. Claire has made headbands uh, from the Galaxy 
two collection by Jaylee patterns that I love Jaylee patterns I've only ever made one thing Jaylee pattern and that was the first dress I ever made and it was a figure skating dress for myself not last April the not it was on March or April but not this one the one before for my competition and I love that pattern and I have got a couple of other patterns that I haven't used so um so I'm got oh, that's a really lovely headband actually so that's one to look out for and she's used the fat quarters for that so I would be interested in looking at that as well because I, I do like the odd headband get my hair off my face and things when I'm doing jobs and makeup and things and it's actually um who has made these shorts is it Angela 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 has made the uh made the shorts and uh and Hayley has made the the ta uh, the tablet quilted tablet cover so there's some lovely ideas isn't it masks purse pajama shorts headbands because that's the trouble with fat quarters right now I, if i was to buy fat quarters i tend i used to buy two packs of them for example so say if you were making a bag if you had two packs of them because say if you only get four prints or something in there you'd then get two of one print so then you'd have the front of a bag the back of a bag and then if you want to do a lining you'd have the front and the back wouldn't you so i'd always recommend people get two packs of fat quarters matching if you want to make something because sometimes there's not much you can do with one not unless you want something really multicolored but i think that's a lovely idea multicolored shorts so yeah i'm definitely thinking about that uh angela great idea so uh let's have a look so oh so um laura and Gemma are always in these magazines uh because they basically they uh contribute to the magazine um so and so they get some fabric to use to make something and uh and is this Gemma. Gemma has made, now Gemma in the last one I showed you, had made the spring shorts. You know the white shorts that I made? I made mine in a, pl a plain white linen. Uh, Gemma had made hers uh, in, a, in the pineapple fabric. And the pineapple fabric um, that I had, I had the same. I made a Christine Haynes dress with it. Well, and she made a shirt with hers as well. Um, Gemma, this time, uh, she uh, she has received the navy uh, with white spot crepe in the last box, and that's what I had. And she has made a dress. Uh, what did she make? It looks like a Tilly and the Buttons dress, in you know, honest. What does does it say? Da -da 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 -da. Oh no, it isn't. It looks very similar to um, a Tilly and the Buttons dress, but it's actually a fibre mood mirror dress, and uh, it's got like um, that tier, a two tier ruffle uh, above the knee, three quarter length loose sleeves, quite an empire line round neck. So can you see that? Yeah. So that is what. Um, Gemma has made. Um, I'll show you, uh, you've probably seen this before, but uh, this is what I made with mine. Now, um, you might think, gosh, that's short. And yes, it is short. Now, I did something I've never done before. I decided to cut my hem shorter while it was on my mannequin uh, because I thought, wow, I can see the dots going all the way round. I put where I wanted it with a pin when I tried it on, uh, trimmed it to follow the dots. And when I got all the way around, it had got higher. So I had to even it out. So it did end up a little bit short. So um, I did take it to uh, Brighton with me and I did wear it one evening. And, um, and I have got a photograph of uh, me wearing it with my husband. We got we don't have a photograph together very often. It's, we normally, it's one of us taking the photograph, but we rarely get someone to take one of us together. And, and there I am. Now he did say, uh, is that that dress that's a bit short? And uh, I said, yes, and you get, I said, yeah, it was, that was an accident. He said, yeah, but you're still wearing it, aren't you? And I said, what, does it not look very nice? Uh, cause he seen what I didn't want me to wear it. And he said, well, 
if you want, uh, I know this one, he said, do you want me to have a fight? And I said, oh no, don't get having a fight. So I took that as a good sign that he thought I looked nice, that he thought he might be getting in a fight. He didn't get in any fights and he doesn't have fights, but uh, maybe he thought I was going to get a bit, bit too much attention. But look, I was hanging off his arm all night, so uh, he didn't have to worry. You know, so uh, and I've only got eyes for him. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so that's what I made, and that was the what was it? No, it was. I probably dumped it up. I don't think I've put it away actually. Um, it's base. Oh gosh, I can't believe I don't know what it's called. Uh, do you know what? I'll put a I'll put a picture of the pattern on because I can't remember what it is. Uh, it's a. Uh, it was one that was for the Love Sewing magazine and uh, I'll pop that on so you can see it. So that's what I made with mine. Um, and uh, Laura, she has made a skirt. Um, so last month she made a bomber jacket with, um, with the pineapple fabric. And uh, and this month she's also received the same fabric that I had because some people got the um, uh, an ivory one with blue spots, and this one, what is she? Oh, it's clot. Is it clots? Oh, she was thinking of making clots. The na the ones called from named patterns, Nina clots that she's made before but she decided not to do that so she made the alba skirt from the new uh so over it summer dreaming ebook that was released a few weeks ago now i will admit i also purchased the ebook and the reason i did it is because if you remember me saying before i signed up to the pdf club um like this year and i'm in, you, in the first week you get a discount so i bought it but i've not I've not um, made anything from it yet, but it's just because there's just so much, isn't there? Uh, you know, so much to make. So that is the um, the skirt the, from the summer. It's the, what did I say it was called? From basically from the summer dreaming book. Can you see that? That's what Laura made, right? Is there anything else? Um, there's a profile uh, of a subscriber in here, and this is Stella. And she's had the classic box since 2017, so she must be certainly getting through all her fabrics. And um, and there's three pictures of her here. Um, I don't actually re recognise the fabric um, that she's in wearing in the first one. That's not maybe she had that before I was a subscriber. It was an animal print. Uh, I do recognise that fabric, that was the one I had and I wrecked it, the only fabric I've wrecked from So Hayley Jane and uh, what did she make actually? I don't know what she made, I, uh, she's made a dress but I don't know what the dress is and do you remember I made um, my first ever Ogden cami this year in my, with a So Hayley Jane fabric, it was very green and tropical with leaves um, she made a dress with that fabric there so i don't know if you can see that so uh we're coming up to near the end uh the fold line always have a piece uh they've got um pattern picks a pattern pick of theirs is the marcel dress and tank top by chalk and notch and that's that there you might be better off looking at these online because you know with the lighting and things and they've recommended the celeste dress from itch to stitch and um, and that's this orange dress here and they've also recommend the archie skirt from lee lilo oh, how do you say Leola, Leola patterns. I think you say that. It's L I O L A patterns, and it's a really cute little skirt, actually. Now I haven't. I've heard of chalk and notch. I've heard of itch to stitch. I've not heard of Leola, Leola pattern, Leola patterns. 
Um, however, um, you know, I will look those up. But um, but I know these are they're quite popular people. But it's just well, what as you know, it's only even though I've been sewing for years and I've been doing dressmaking and dribs and drabs. It's only really been, you know, this last, a bit last year, it's really, you know, like this year I've made more than anything. And it's not to do with Corona. Well, I have made more because of having more time because of Corona. But it's just because my interest in dressmaking um, has really grown. Uh, hence why I started having the So Hayley J uh, Jane box last year. I've just become a lot more interested in dressmaking. That's why, if you think I'm in to a total tease uh, over dressmaking, it's just because it's just like, oh, I've got to make everything kind of thing at the minute. You know, so, like if you've been uh, like really into dressmaking, say for six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, or all dressmaking as long as I've just been just sewing generally. You probably think, oh, well, you know, you, what am I going to make next? I've done it all. But for me, it's like, oh, oh, there's this, there's this, there's it, and there's all the new things, and, and there's all the old things. So it's a bit, like, overwhelming. So I've just got to, I'm just basically, I'm not making any rigid plans on what I'm going to make. I'm just, I'm going with it, whatever I just feel like at the time, if I've got the right supplies and things. So, so yeah, it is a bit overwhelming. Now, let's have a look. There's an interview with Esther. Now, I'm sure Esther, I don't know if I follow Esther on Instagram or if she's commented on my makes, but I definitely recognise her. Uh, and she's made some lovely things here. Uh, it's just basically an interview. Oh, she's oh she's the latest member of the team who will be popping in and out with her makes over the coming months so let's get to know her so she's 27 and she lives in manchester i'm not going to read all this out to you and uh, and she's made some lovely things can you see this like purple it's quite very sexy this dress with a big split down the leg look at that and she's made like a a jumpsuit with um long sleeves here very fitted i do like her style very like nipped in at the waist and things and she's made a really cute little it looks like a bit like a a skater style dress here look so yes yeah, so lovely um so yeah it's, it's a shame as Esther joins, I'm leaving. So, so, so some of you people that have signed up, you can have to start sharing these things for me to see. Um, let's have a look. So, Haley's left some links of things, uh, a Netflix thing she must be watching called Selling Sunset, and it's basically a real estate company in Los Angeles selling incredible million-dollar properties to the rich and famous. So you get to have a snoop around rich people's houses. And also, oh, I see now, Hayley. Right. Oh, gosh. This is incredible. There's basically a new release of The Secret Garden. When is that? Oh, it's already released. Releases on the 14th of August. And it's the people. It's produced by the people that did Harry Potter and Paddington. Oh my goodness, I've got to see that, I've got to see that, oh wow, sorry, going off on one, I've got to see that The Secret Garden ride, I, I, I might be going on my own, I don't, will my family want to watch it with me, I don't know, so you know, because I've got a husband and three teenage boys, so you know, I'm a bit like on my own, they do come and watch girly films and things sometimes, uh, but sometimes you know, when there's something else on they want to watch more then is the cinema even open has it reopened i don't know let's hope it hasn't and then i can maybe get it online quicker so anyway sky because basically sky movies were doing a thing that you could watch movies that were meant to be out in the cinema during lock lockdown and things so but i bet that's over now isn't it so there's a word search that i haven't attempted and no doubt i will be as poor at this puzzle than i was with the last one i'm ashamed of but uh, you know i might do all right you never know so uh and that that's uh, amy scar has uh, done that 
and uh, and in the back that now the insta watch is a new thing in the book and the first one i was in it with my pineapple dress but unfortunately i didn't get into this one but some people that were in it last time uh, are also in it this time as well so um get like gillies in it again and um who else uh liz um gloria joe and julianne and basically julianne and liz uh must have the same box that i have but liz got the ivory the ivory uh, crepe with the navy spot and julianne got the same one as i did and uh gloria and gilly oh gilly gilly must have upgraded gilly was on the was on the same box as i am but gilly has got the uh, luxury fabric check you out gilly upgrading um so she's actually made um Hel helen closet uh winslow clots and not with that fabric though and the Hey June Loose Loosen Oh sorry, I can't say it. This is what she's made with a fabric. The Hey June handmade L U C E R N E oh, you know what I can't talk can I blouse, that's what Gilly's made. And um and who else? Joe has made Am I getting this mixed up? No, I'm not, am I? Oh no, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting mixed up. I know I get mixed up a lot. Jo has made the um, Hannah Wrap dress by Handmade London in a, on a lovely, on the beach. Well, not on the beach, but in front of the sea. So that's lovely. So I'm really going to miss this. I really am. I really am going to miss this. But do you know what? I'm going to take the time to look through all my old books. I am. So, yeah, it's pretty sad that I'm not going to be getting that anymore. But I'm going to look. But I'm still going to be posting on Instagram. So when I, I've made things with my So Hayley Jane fabrics, I'll still hashtag all that. I'll still look at everybody else's. So, yeah, I'm going to... But I am going to miss it. So, but if I get through all this whack out some tilly in the buttons shorts loads of them um maybe i can join up sooner than i hoped so thank you so much for watching again i know this is quite long actually for an unboxing video but um i look at one time i never used to really say much about these books did i but uh but yeah i've said a lot more so i hope you got something out of that today and uh, enjoy your boxes everybody or i hope that um if you don't subscribe that i've given you a little bit of an insight if you're interested so Thank you for watching today. Bye.